In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at how to capture video with your webcam. In order to begin the process, all I need to do is move to the upper left corner of my screen. And on this version of PowerDirector, the button I'm looking for is to the left of the Edit button. It simply says Capture. So I'm going to click on it and see what happens here. A new screen pops up. It tries to guess the device you want to capture. And mine happens to be the fourth icon from the right, which is my webcam. Instead of pointing at me, I have the webcam pointing outside the window. And you can see this is a live shot because some of the leaves are blowing just a little bit in a light breeze that we have here right now. Let me describe the different features you have on this screen. You have an option to determine where your captured content will be stored. And to change it, you click on Change Folder. It will take you to your file system. You have an option to change how it records it. I can click on the Profile button. And on my current setup here, I can choose between these formats. And I can choose other options over here uh, as I wish. So I'll click on Cancel. And then depending on what you have hooked on your computer, you have multiple video or multiple audio sets. You can click on Settings and change uh, which one will be used as the video input, which one as the audio input. Then we have another feature here on the other lower left corner, a little picture of a camera. You've seen this before in PowerDirector. That's to take a snapshot. So I'll just click on that. It'll ask for a name. I will say um, uh, Window 5 and click on OK. And now I have a still image I can use in my project if I want. Before I go to actual, actually capture some uh, video, I have an option of choosing a time limit or a size limit. So this is where you can, in a sense, uh, turn it on and walk away. The size limit defaults to a megabyte. The time limit defaults to five seconds. So those are the smallest that you can set. But obviously, you could go ahead and uh, change these numbers to, uh, say, 45 minutes and five seconds. So that's what you can do if you want to just click it and walk away. So I'm going to turn these off. And we'll do an actual record here. To do that, we click on the little red record button. And now it's actually recording uh, what my webcam is pointing at out my, outside my window. You have your normal um, data here related to the recording, how many megabytes. You have the recorded video length, counting down in seconds. And then you have the available length you know, in that particular location in your storage system on your computer. So this is a very simple way of beginning to record. Now, I've been going for about half a minute now. I'm going to go ahead and click on the red button. And now it turns to stop the recording. And I'll have a pop-up screen saying, what do you want to call this? I'll just call this uh, View Out the Window. Not very creative, but hopefully it'll work. It will go ahead and save it. Now I have a couple of options here. If I click on it with a left mouse button twice, it will pop up a play window. And I can actually see it. I'll close that. There's another option that some don't learn about early on. I can right click on it and click on Start Editing. When I do that, it takes it and it puts it here in my uh, media bin, my media room, called Window 5. OK, that would be my still image because it's a JPEG. And this is my movie that I just took. I can take it and drag it and drop it. I can play it or edit it like any other uh, video data that I may happen to have in my system. And so now it's playing. So I'll stop it there. But it's a really easy way not only to capture video from your webcam, but also to begin working with it right away 
and CyberLink PowerDirector.